Hi everybody, this is So Heidi, and this tutorial is on working with linked and embedded images within Illustrator. So you might have experienced a couple times where you've got JPEGs or TIFFs or any type of rasterized artwork that you've placed or imported into Illustrator. Um, and it might appear a couple different ways. You might have where you've got a X going through the actual placed graphic or there is no X, you just have the bounding box surrounding it. So I'm going to talk about the difference between these and how you can manage and work with linked files in your Illustrator document. So when you've got a graphic that's got the X going through it, what that means is that it's actually a linked file. Um, and what a linked file means is that this artwork is not actually part of the Illustrator document. What the document contains is actually a link to this graphic, this JPEG in this instance. And so right now this JPEG lives on my desktop. So what the computer, what the software is remembering is a path, a file path, a link to get to this original JPEG. So it's remembering Heidi's desktop, images, denim.jpg. That's all it's remembering. It's not actually containing the data and the information for this graphic, this denim texture within the Illustrator document versus this image does not have the X through it. This image is actually part of the Illustrator document. Um, it is embedded within the Illustrator file. So in the end, what's the difference and why should you use one versus the other? Well, if you have a linked file, remember all that the software is remembering is the file path to get to that. So that's great. It can kind of help reduce your file size within Illustrator because it's not remembering the actual data for this. It's only remembering the file path. Um, you do have to be kind of organized with this. If you move this JPEG on your desktop to somewhere else into a new folder or you trash it. Next time you open up Illustrator, you're going to get a warning dialog box that says, hey, I can't find this link. And I'll show you how that works in just a second here. So those are some of the pros and cons. The pros, it keeps your file size a little bit smaller and it can keep things organized. Um, but at the same time, you have to be organized and remember where your files are and uh, not move folders, etc. Now, if you've got your graphic embedded, that might increase your Illustrator file size, but again, it is all contained within this Illustrator document. So if you need to package up this document and email it to somebody, and you've got this graphic embedded, when you email it to them, this graphic will show up. If you've got a linked file and you do not email them the Illustrator document along with the linked file, then when they try and open it, it's going to give them a warning. Hey, I can't find this denim.jpg file. Um, now, in this instance, a linked versus embedded file depends on how you want to use this denim texture. If you want to create a pattern swatch of a denim texture to fill in some jeans that you've drawn, then you have to embed your file. You cannot make a pattern swatch out of a linked file. If I take this and drag it into my swatches, nothing happens. If I take this and drag it into my swatches, it's turned into a pattern swatch and now I can draw a shape and fill it with that denim texture. Okay, so if you want to make a pattern swatch, your graphic has got to be embedded. Um, how do you get this artwork into Illustrator in the first place and how do you manage whether the graphic is embedded or linked? Well, I'm going to show you that right now. There's two different ways uh, that are pretty quick and easy to get artwork into Illustrator. So let's delete these and start from the beginning. So I'm going to choose File, Place. And I'm going to browse out the graphic that I want to place. So I'm going to choose denim. Now you notice down at the bottom here you have the option to link. So I'm going to leave that on. That means this denim.jpg is going to be placed into my Illustrator document as a link. It should default to this unless you've turned that off. Okay, so I choose place. Now it's linked. As we know, just by clicking on it, it has the X through it, means it's linked. You've got a links palette. If that's not showing up, just choose window, links, and within there it's showing you denim.jpg. Um, let's go ahead and place it, and we'll turn the link off. Okay. 
Now within my links palette, it's still there. I do get this little gra this little icon next to the the graphic denim.jpg. That little icon is telling me that's embedded, versus this one has no icon. That one is linked. Um, now from here. You have a couple of advantages if you're working with a linked graphic. So the great thing about this is that if you need to then edit this denim texture, you can edit it and it will then update within Illustrator. So you can edit it a couple different ways. You can just choose Edit Original with the graphic selected that you want to edit. So I'm going to click on this. It's going to pop me into Photoshop and I have the option to edit this. So let's adjust something really drastic. So the hue. So it's now green. So I'm going to choose Save and I'm going to close that. I'm going to jump back to Illustrator. Now look, it's giving me a warning. Some files are missing or modified in the links panel. Would you like to update them now? So I'm going to choose yes. See, now that's updated. So there's a link between this and that graphic versus this embedded one. I can't edit the original. If I wanted to change the color of this, I'd have to edit it in Photoshop and replace it into Illustrator. So if you've placed something as, an, as a linked image and you want to change it to an embedded image, you can do that just by clicking on that link in the links palette or selecting it on the artboard, choosing your flyout, and choosing to embed image. You might also have a button right up at the top where you can just choose embed, and you've also got your edit original right up at the top, which is the same as clicking on this little pencil here on your palette, which will then open it in Illustrator or in Photoshop so that you can edit the original. So I'm going to click on embed. Now that's turned it into an embedded image. So from there, I want to show you the other way to get artwork into your Illustrator document. So if you have a Finder window open, that's got the graphics that you want to place. We've got a fashion sketch here and I want to place that. So I can simply just drag and drop this right onto my Illustrator document. Okay. Now you'll notice I've got the X going through it, meaning it is a linked graphic. And that's fine. That's what I want it to be. Um, from here what I'm going to do is I'm going to save this Illustrator document. I'll just call it links and I'm going to close it. Now I'm going to go to my finder and I'm just going to change the file name of that graphic. Now I'm going to reopen this and I'm getting this warning. So this is something you might have experienced if you've inherited files from somebody and they did not provide you with the links then you're going to get this error and you need to ask them whoever gave you the files originally where are those graphics that are linked and if at the same time if you're passing a file to someone either first embed the graphics or pass them the TIFFs and the JPEGs that you have got linked within your document. So you can either ignore it, which if you ignore it then it's just going to be nothing except a blank box within your file or you can choose replace and it kind of lets you browse out and so oh it's that one I forgot I changed the file name um, and it's going to update it to this XXX fashion sketch. Okay, so now it's updated that. The same holds true if you take this and you delete it. I'll come into Illustrator. Now it's saying some files are missing or modified in the links panel. Would you like to update them now or say yes? And it says, oh wait, I can't even find it. So again, we could replace it or ignore it. So if we say ignore, it's giving us a red X here and although we can visually see it it's not really here so watch if we save this close it now let's reopen it choosing replace or ignore let's not choose replace let's just say okay well I guess we'll just ignore it see it's just a blank box um, so those are kind of the basics of how linked versus embedded images worked. You need to pay really close attention when you're sharing files with people and you're organizing your files and having good file management in terms of where you're keeping your JPEGs and TIFFs if you are utilizing linked images within Illustrator. Like I said, there's some advantages to be able to update um, and automatically have your graphics update within Illustrator as you edit them in Photoshop or whatever other programs. but 
um, they can also get lost. Uh, and remember, if you want to make a pattern swatch, it cannot have linked images in it. It has to all be, they all have to all be embedded graphics. So um, enjoy that. And remember, when you're sharing files with people, either give them the links or embed everything. All right, thanks for watching, everybody. This is So Heidi. I'll see you guys next time.